It was just somebody's birthday this week, wasn't it? Whose birthday was it? I can't remember. It was yours! Yeah. Sorry you came up now, aren't you? I'll be honest with you, I didn't plan this because it was your birthday, but when I saw you here, I was really glad. <laughs> what I'd like to do is, is uh, I'm going to kind of do a takeoff on a show, a game show. You probably don't see it because you're in school, but maybe you guys know. You ever hear of The Price is Right? Do you know what The Price is Right is? Okay. Well, it's a show where you have a contestant, and they get to pick between a couple different prizes, like they'll have something in a box, you can choose that, or you can choose what's behind door number one or behind this curtain, okay? And the premise is one of those is really good. And one of them, well, not so much. It's a dud. And you, as a contestant, would have to pick which one. So that's kind of the premise here. I've got two presents. And I'll hold it up so everybody can see them. See them? If I was to ask you to pick one of these, which one would you pick? But this is, look at this, it's plain. It's a plain red wrapping. I mean, I wrap this so it looks like, looks like crap. <laughs> Sorry, I don't wrap very well. But look at this one. It's pretty gold and it's got a wrap around it and it's got a bow. Might be something in there, it might just be a bunch of paper, but this could be money. What do you guys think? Which one should I open? I should open this one, right? I should open this one, right? Yeah. Right? Madeline says no. Go ahead and open that for me. So far, so good. What's in there? A mason jar. Oh, has it got anything valuable in it? It's got nuts and bolts in it. <laughs> and it's got, well, I don't know, some kind of a claw. This was a great prize, wasn't it? No. <laughs> kind of a dud. Here's the point. I mean, you obviously were wise. You're, you're hip. You're a smart lady. But uh, isn't that how we gen tend to choose things? We look at the outside. If it looks nice, we want it. If it doesn't look nice, we don't want it. And not so much even with presents, but with people. We judge people by how they look on the outside. We judge our friends, and sometimes that's kind of smart. But do we judge how people look to decide whether to be nice to them or not? Whether to help them or not? Whether to share the gospel with them or not? Is that how God chose to call you to faith? Because he liked how you look on the inside? How about how you look, well, on the outside or on the inside, because God sees who we are in here. If he decided to share his love and faith with me because of who I am on the inside, he never would have, because on the inside of me is nothing but sin. It's a mean, selfish heart at times that doesn't do his will, and it doesn't think very nicely about other people. Unfortunately, that's who I am, and that's who you are. Even knowing who we are on the inside, God chose to call me to faith. And to call you to faith. To call you and you to faith. And when he did that, he changed you. On the inside out. Gave you a new heart. A heart that holds fast to Jesus, that has Jesus' love. A love that says you're forgiven of all your sins, not because of anything you've done, but because of all I did for you on the cross, dying and rising again. Makes you a new person. Even when you don't look like it on the outside. So when we're deciding who to be nice to, who to share the gospel with, should we always look on the outside? Even if it seems like they're kind of miserable and rotten on the inside, maybe what they really need is to hear the gospel from your lips and from my lips and by the works of your hands so that the Spirit can change them. Why don't you open that and see what's inside it? What's in there? Lots of suckers, isn't it? That's a lot better than uh, nuts and bolts, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, lots of cavities. Want one? That's for you. Share that with your sisters. Share that with your mom and dad. No, well, then keep it to yourself. It is your birthday. Doesn't look like much on the outside, did it? We don't look like much on the outside sometimes. It's what Jesus is doing inside us that counts. The heart change that he makes for us. And that's a beautiful, miraculous, mysterious thing. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit through God's strong word. Join me in prayer. And you can pray with me. Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you you. for changing me, me. giving me faith faith. to believe in you, and giving me your love. love. Keep working working. to change me, to be more like you. you. In your name we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. You know, you can have the, you want these too? Do you? You can have them. Don't put them in your mouth though, okay? (laughs) Don't throw them at anybody. Promise? All right. Thanks for coming up, Madeline. Thanks for letting me pick on you. You're a good sport. Happy birthday. And you can head back to your seats. And if you want to go with Mr.